What's going on, YouTube? How we doing, sick fam? Welcome back, cocksuckers. Hello. Welcome back, chat, to my wonderful tips and thoughts on Power World Episode 2. And, of course, timestamps for everything that we talk about are going to be down in the description below. Have a good day, chat, and let's get into the first goddamn topic. All right, chat. So the first part of open world exploration that we are going to be discussing today is caves, chat. Now, looking around here, um, it's pretty easy to get lost. In fact, I am kind of lost right now. I don't even know where I came in from, um, which I kind of hope they fix that over time. But caves are good for two things. As you can see here, um, there will be a bunch of different enemies in caves, sometimes bosses spawn in caves, and you can actually catch those bosses. Um, let's see if I can catch one, one of these guys, and yes, you can catch humans in this game, for those of you guys who are wondering. Let's see if we can get this guy. Come on. No! I'm gonna catch him now. I'm determined. I'm bringing back my pal so he doesn't kill him. Yeah. Oh my god, it's working! No way! Oh, I got one! No way! <laughs> so there's another thing about exploration you can catch uh humans so fun fact if you're in caves and you're fighting a human don't forget you can catch them although in the game it literally says it is considered inhumane holy shit chat all right um and the other thing I've noted inside of these caves as well is not only are they good for catching bosses and other various types of uh, pals that you wouldn't see on the outside, but they're also good for mining as well. Like there's a lot of rocks and, and, uh, and other stuff in this cave that you can look at and mine. Like there's a rock over here you can mine. Um, and it's really good for that, especially if you need stone or ores. Um, my biggest complaint is, as I said, how fucking easy it is to just get lost because some games have like a secondary map, but there is no secondary map when I pull up my main map here. It's just player location, filter, E marker, and something else. So, very complicated on trying to figure out how to get out of here. So, as soon as I do find my way out of here, we will uh, talk about the next topic of open world exploration chat um, outside of the, uh, the caves, aka bandit camps. Um, but basically, I guess you can call this segment just roaming, just free roaming in general. Um, pretty much everything else but caves. But nonetheless, see you in the next segment chat. Alright chat, so welcome to the open world segment. Now the first part that we're, we're going to talk about when exploring the open world is when you die because importantly when you die you lose all of your items and the only way to get them back is to go and re retrieve them chat. So if you need to do that I recommend trying to spawn at anywhere that has a fast travel location. Likewise when you're building a base make sure that it is right next to one of these beacons so that that way if you do die you can easily respawn at your base like I did come here and respawn at the area where, where you died at so for me I died right over here so we're just gonna hurry and fast travel there really fast okay so here we here we are um, let's see if I can figure out where we dropped my items chat um, and talking about some more of the open world as well chat you have a bunch of various different resources you can mine um, you can get pickaxes to mine these resources stones you can craft weapons so that you can kill pals and they'll give you various things as well wool food fibers all kinds of stuff fluids um, which can also be used to craft various different items chat now right here you guys can see this this Glowing rock will give you paladinium, which is a very useful resource that you can use to mine a bunch or craft a bunch of different shit. Obviously, trees will give you wood. Um, generalized uh, mining stones down there that are all colorful, like that one is, you can mine that and it will give you ore, which then you can refine to get ingots. And as well, Chad, if you come up here, there should be some normal stone rocks eventually. Using those stone rocks and mining them will give you stone. Now, I'm going to go and get my resources back, and we're going to talk about the next part of this game, which is fast traveling and bosses. We're just going to make both of those um, one segment. So, see you when we talk about fast traveling and bosses, chat. All right, chat. 
fast traveling and boss battles are done like this. So, anytime you want to fast travel on your compass, you will see the little bird symbol. Um, now, what I rec recommend doing to make fast traveling super simple um, is you either build your base in the beginning area. I'm in the plateau of the beginnings. Build it here like I did. Or build your base next to a fast travel point like this. So when you do die at your... Uh, die and respawn at your base. You can just come up here to the fast travel beacon, press F, and simply go over to any place here. Now I'm just going to go to uh, where I died chat real fast and get my items back. Um, now there's two different types of bosses in this game, and I'm going to show you the first one right now. Um, we're not going to fight them, but I'll show you how to. The first one is tower battles, aka if you guys played Pokemon, they're basically gym leaders. Um, but how you fight gym leaders is you'll come over here. I'm not going to do it, but if you press F, you can join the, the battle. You just have to hold it down until that meter fills up there, and then you will join. You have to be any given boss. Um, as soon as you beat them, you'll spawn at the top of the, the tower chat, and then you can go explore. And the other types of bosses are bosses that you find in the open world. And there's actually going to be two types of these as well. So the first one are going to be ones that you'll see like the Mamarest here. Um, let's see if we can't hurry and fast travel over to Mamarest. And I'll kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'll come down here, press F, and then we're going to head over here to Mamarest real quick. Um, so as you can see, Mamarus is just walking around the open world, um, and he is just kind of doing his thing. See, he's here. Um, some bosses that are walking around like this aren't going to be passive. This guy won't fight you unless you hit him first, so he's pretty chill. But some bosses will just attack you right off of the bat, and these guys are not easy. This guy could probably two-shot me, maybe one-shot me if you really wanted to. So just keep that in mind when you're out actually battling any uh, bosses chat and the other kind of bosses you'll kind of find these shrines like altars and similarly to the towers or gyms you'll just press F and you'll be spawned into a battle room and you can still capture these bosses however you cannot capture the gym leader's Pokemon um, or pals you can capture any ones that, that, that you do if it spawns you into a room that aren't gym leaders but if they are a gym leader or a tower leader you cannot capture their pals if you guys liked it, the thumbs up, didn't like it, the thumbs down, and if you want to see more, hit the sub button and bell notification so you talk suckers notified every time we upload, getting us to 300 subscribers by January of 2026. But on that note, I have been your host, Sick. Thank you for sticking around. Each and every one of you have a lovely fucking day, cocksuckers. See you on the next one. Peace!